fantastic. Been looking forward to this job for a good while now. clean this loft hatch so if you remember what this is looking like in quite a, a nasty state it's been used and abused while the build's been going on Threads have took a lot, and the stains bruise. So all this lot is going to get painted, along with all that. I all want priming and a lot of cleaning. So there's still plaster splashes on this. Let's say cups of tea and coffee all over it. So I'll give it a dust down and then fur liquid in some warm water, give it a good wash. So I'll give this a light dust off and a vac. Now I'm going to go over with the cloth. Like I say, easy to remove the plaster splashes. to give this a bit of a soaking and just keep coming back and wiping at it I mean am I the only one that sheeted this up if you remember when I painted this lot covered all this Gonna keep me busy for a while. See how I've removed this, and a lot of these videos that we do are never scripted, it's just as we go along. So, what I thought was tea and coffee stains. Notice here, I've cleaned all this off with all the wipe down. It's an adhesive. It took me quite a bit to get that off there. Take a look down here. So I've wiped that board over. That's a, a thorough scrub down. And we've still got this on. Some form of adhesive. I'm not sure what it is. This tread I've cleaned over. And you can see the adhesive here. This one I've not touched yet. The damp cloth is there. See. And again, you can see the adhesive in it. So it's going to take me quite a while. And I reckon I'm going to have to re oil this. So my suspicions were I did think that this was possibly um, oiled or waxed or something. Maybe, but I don't think so. It shouldn't take the moisture like that. So it's just very well polished timber. So how do I tackle that? If that was tear coffee, that would have gone. So it is an adhesive and there's no way a builder's gonna waste a brew, you know. Sacrilege that. So, dampened. Got my scraper. 
And the only reason why I'm keeping it dampened is just to lubricate the surface at the back. And then with my scraper, I'm just going to gently go at this. Just keep re-wetting it. shouldn't scratch too much this as long as your blade is nice and clean that edge and just keep working at that too bad. Quite crystally, whatever it is. that one cleaned up onto this one Okay. Now I can just get some methylated spirits and we'll get rid of this residue that's behind on the back. Now, because this, when this has been fitted, obviously that's been spilled, this won't have been clean and relying on dirt and dust lying behind this. Methylated spirit should lift this off. If I was to try and go through that, I've got the whole surface to get through. So I'll remove as much as possible and then we'll get on with this. I'll get some on the cloth and just work at one area. Now I tested a small amount, just somewhere that's not very visible and if there's no reaction, no problem, then you're okay, carry on. Feel a little bit there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. So, move on to the next one. As we're addressing this next one, then you can come back and look at this. And as it's drying, if you see anything that's left sat in it, address it. That's looking a bit better. The hatch itself is cleaned. Just the steps to do. Little bit on the board there. So I'll just keep working this in. Okay, not too bad. Again, I can come back to that. A little bit more, and then just concentrate on this lot. I've started bringing these staircase, the steps in. You see little bits of adhesive still left. Now I've cleaned this off, I've scraped all this, but this is now ingrained into the wood. So I will have to do some sanding. So, more there. So this is the one that I've not done yet. You see the difference, they're a bit cleaner. So just a quick look at this one and I'll carry on so I'm just using a bit of bleach here so this hasn't been treated with anything and usually you can tell once it absorbs moisture So not too fussed about what's going on because this is going to get cleaned properly. Okay, I've got my cloth there. It's just ordinary bleach. And make sure you rub this in. If it needs more, give it more. Do I'll just go around, make sure it's all wet in like this. Okay. Right, that damp cloth again, while the bleach is still wet, I'm going to start to rub and clean as much of this as I can. It will leave the adhesive on, but we'll deal with that in a minute. Just keep doing that, rinsing the cloth, cold water. After bleaching this and going over with the damp cloth, so it's drying out now, I've been over with methylated spirits again from a cloth. So just give it a good wipe over, remove any black from out of it, anything that's staining it. Now, this adhesive, I'll just get up here, got my paint scraper, and now I can just draw it over. The adhesive there. And remove as much of that as I can. Just 
remember about the direction of the grain. So whatever's left there now is in the wood. Carefully over that edge. If it starts to fur up, go back the other way because it'll be working against the grain. Anything that's left in that bit of a groove there, I'm just going to loosen it off with the screwdriver. The methylated spirits is drying off a bit now. Got a little bit of water there. And now I want to start to sand this lot out. 180 grade sandpaper. And we'll concentrate on the areas where the adhesive is. And then generally we'll give the whole lot of sand over. Because this will undoubtedly brighten up an area. To the grain there, that's not too bad. Okay. They're going to come up okay these, uh, take a bit of work. sanded back. They're looking good. Almost like new. So now I can get this covered up and then concentrate up there with all this 
gating and the spindles and the surround of the loft hatch. Spindles and gate all up there is primed and just the top edge of the loft hatch there. Sheeted up and I've got a plank just to make it easier when I'm painting the inside. So that's my next bit and then we can concentrate on painting this edge and painting this side. And we're going to leave this side because generally that's going to sit up there, not be seen. Low maintenance. You see how easy that was to clean? Well, that won't need painting. Although it's not white, that's okay. Crack on with that. Um, took the seal off from around the edge just to make it easier. Rubber seal that sits around. And, well, unfortunately, this lot ain't coming off. I do want it off, though. Save me such a lot of time. So I'll do my best, get it coated up, and we'll see what it looks like when I've finished. I've just brought that edge in so I'm going to work around all these areas first and just do my best It's just working up to it. And this is only a primer. some sort of direction
that's the first side done that's looking good yeah okay so while I was doing this I brought this top edge of the hatch in remember we're leaving this I'll just bring this in on the other side same as that all up there is primed that won't take that long to dry at all so now I can bring in these edges there'll only be three of them and then the other side because I've already done that top one and then just make sure anything at the back underneath there is done I'm not painting that side just need to get that bit of wood covered over okay finish these to the bottom and then what I will need to do is have a quick look at that edge so I've got some methylated spirits a little bit on the cloth and just wipe down that edge Let's make sure it's nice and clean. I've just this face of the loft hatch to do, and then it's all primed. And in the bottom of here, somewhere there should be a mini roller. Okay. I'll just use an old emulsion roll there. Best thing you can use in your Zinsa bin primer. Now I'll get this loaded up. And I've got a brush there as well. pressure when I come to the edge otherwise you'll flood paint over the edge I'm not laying this off this is just going to get rolled because this has a stipply texture anyway
So the roller now can go back in there. Okay, make sure that's lying flat on the bottom. And then a little bit of methylated spirit in there. And that'll be good when I come to use it again. So now I just need to get this lot white back. So after that one coat of the Zinsa, that's looking a lot better. So again, it'll be having two coats of Dulux satin wood, but that's good. So the difference now is unbelievable. We get this down. That's looking 100%. Okay. So. Remember these haven't been sealed. When I come to seal these loft ladders, then I will be using this. And also, don't forget this, because this hasn't been treated either, and this will soon become dirty. So, no worries there. Well, that's the pole done. So all I did was a little bit of the Osmo oil on the cloth and just rub that in. I can leave the pole there. That can be dry in there. And then now, I'll just concentrate on this. So I'll be bringing the sides down and then the underneaths of the treads and then I'll come down on the tops. Easy to do. A lot easier than that up there. The trick to applying this oil is apply it very thinly and just work up. Careful about splashing. I'll just take it to that point there. Okay. And then with your lint free cloth, just rub that. That's generally it. Keep bringing that down. Is there enough on the cloth just to get into there? All right, remember, don't forget these end grains. Well that's that side of the ladder done and the handrail. So we'll now bring in both these sides and then we'll take a look at the treads. Whenever doing this, always ventilation and I'm wearing a mask as well. So I'll crack on with that and we'll do them. 
these sides I'm literally just working the brush up to that edge there and again down to the tread there just work that right to the edge right. A little bit there. Okay. And then we take lint-free cloth. not like applying varnish this we are just sealing the surface we don't want it to lay on we don't want it to puddle or pool just the treads to bring down now and I'm going to be working the tops and the underneaths at the same time. Make sure these are nice and clean. When rubbing this out, don't forget that back edge. I'll just wipe along. Just the underneath of this last tread to do. I'll put it up there, just make it a little bit easier. Nothing wrong with that. That's looking okay, that is.